Hi! You might be surprised and confused to see this on your subscription feed, so here's just a quick little thing explaining what's up. Back in March 2019, the last three parts of our Wind Wicker LP were recorded with Miwa, and there were some technical and audio issues with those recordings, so in September of 2019, most of us got back together and redid those last parts, and there's context for that explained within the part once we get into it. And in a typical FTCR fashion, we take forever to do anything, so uh, we recorded those and they were with Gareth, the files were. So when he announced that he was leaving FTCR um, about a year ago now, uh, he had those files, And but recently he uh, transferred all of those to us, he put them all together, and if you'll go back and look through, he redid all the old thumbnails to match our uh, rebrand style. So um, that is why <laughs> that's why the Wind Waker LP continued out of nowhere. Uh, it's back! Uh, this time not in POG form. But yeah, so Gareth is in these next three parts. Um, he is not back on the channel, but he is back in these three parts because we recorded this way long ago and it's horribly out of date. So that's the context uh, you'll need going into this and hopefully you enjoy because these have been a long time coming. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD in SDLP. Uh, we've been away for a while, this is part 15, and we have a slight change up in our crew. Um, Mikonos fan is unfortunately joining us today, and um, for the rest of this LP, uh, for the rest of, of the channel, uh, most likely, we are going to be miwa -less. Um that's right. I fired her. <laughs> Chris, Chris fired. Chris could not stand the fact that we had, you know, a Japanese, a foreign woman in the group. So Chris kicked her out. Um, Miwa essentially one day just came to us and pretty much just says, I'm sick of all this nerd shit. I'm going and pretty much <laughs> left the Internet. Um, at that point... If anyone follows our, our Patreon, you will notice that we, we did record parts 15 to 17 of this LP. And uh, when she said she was leaving, I said, I'll, 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 I'll edit. That's fine. I'll edit. Send me the audio. And uh, she sent me a single audio file that just said, fuck you, cracker. So um, <laughs> so we're here, to, we're here to redo the last three parts of The Wind Waker. Um, we, we thought what, what might be uh, more for this, because at this point, it's The Wind Waker. We recorded these parts so long ago, I don't even remember what the fuck happens at this part of the game anymore. I thought it'd be good for maybe at least at least for this part. Let's just talk about how awesome Miwa is. I think that's probably a good idea because there's like nothing to talk about in this section of the game. I think this is like a filler. Yeah, I have one question. Is this like the first island you go to and this is part 15? I, I know we suck <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Oh no, Ento woke up and we're still on Mumbo's Mountain, oh no! <laughs> it's an open level. Bread boys chasing around kids, what else is there to explain? Let, let's put it, I'm gonna put it in ways that you can maybe understand, Chris. It's okay. like they took the balloon back to the first area, but you can still get to, uh, Ganasty Ganork's area. Oh, okay, we're just, we're just doing some cleanup, I got it. Yeah. It's like it, it, it's like the part right before the final part. You, 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 gotta, you gotta go fight Ganon, but oh no, I gotta find all these Goron seeds. Or in this case, you gotta go to school. Ew, Goron oh seeds. This is a nightmare. How do you collect those? Oh no, you 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 go in the ground and you ask you ask a Goron to jerk off into a cup. <laughs> A direct man. <laughs> and you gotta go around collecting it? <laughs> well, yeah, what cup's not gonna be enough? Oh, that sounds great. I love this sassy teacher with like a jetty bean haircut. She just like rocks back and forth. She's she's like, to kind of date this, she, she's like white diamond. Like how sassy well, well, she is. Well, she's paying her students. Like, that can't be ethical. Link, has Hyrule always been this flooded? <laughs> The absolute shade! I mean, to be fair, it was supposed, to be, it was supposed to be a doomsday device, but all it did was just make white slightly uncomfortable. Slight, slight spoiler for the TV Universe movie. If you're gonna, if you're gonna say your fucking device is gonna kill every literal, every literal living thing on the planet, maybe don't just have it slightly fuck up one city and that's it. What a fucking letdown! Don't let its weakness be saliva. Just saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds a lot like perfect chaos. Isn't that like when... I was going to say it. Oh, go on, Chris. No, I, I said what I was going to say. It's just it destroyed one particular city with a world-ending threat. Well, he did that again in the saliva. next game, too. He's like, I, I can blow up the world. I'm just going to do half the moon. You could say that about literally every d- d- disaster movie where, like, a thing is like, oh, there's an invasion or something or whatever, and they only destroy one city. Except for Terminator 3. Yeah, Terminator 3, they actually do destroy the world. Terminator 3 literally ends on Judgment it Day. It all keeps tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, returns. I'm done. <laughs> so how much of this LP has Miwa spent decorating this island since this entire LP seems to have taken place on this island? Yeah, this, uh, for people who don't know, Windmaker was actually a, a stealth Animal Crossing game. You just spend the entire game fixing up the I silent. thought the entire GameCube was a stealth Animal Crossing console. That's why it's the best console. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Even the Sega games on the console involved raising and taking care of shit. Like, it was just a console of oh. just life planning. Wow. Right? Game theory. Suck it. Oh my god, game theory. So, Mykonos fan. Hi, hey, yeah. What? Uh, I forget. I've never... I don't think I've ever heard you talk about Zelda before. Talk about Zelda. Uh, this is my favorite Zelda game, followed closely by Majora's Mask. Whoop, whoop. These are the... Those are the only two Zelda games I think I've ever beat. Boo boo. Yeah, because I haven't beat Breath of the Wild yet. I, I could never beat Majora's Mask. Neither yet. could I, thank you. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> like, nobody, like, everybody has You're such welcome. a boner for Majora's Mask, and I don't understand it. Majora's Mask is like, I, I, want, I want to sit down, because I, I bought the remake on 3DS like five years ago. It's pretty good. I want to sit, I want to sit down and play it, because like, it's, I love the idea of it, but I played it when I was like... Uh, fucking 12 and I was just like I don't get it where's this fucking I'm in a fucking wood mask for I don't want this fuck off we discussed this before that uh, Majora's Mask is just kind of one of those games when you think about the concepts about you know the time dynamic how oh all the characters have their independent schedules like these are amazing ideas then you're playing the game you're like really I have to wait six hours for this guy to show up and that so the remake does make that a lot better with the uh, incremental time uh, fording ability with double time but it still gets those moments where you're like, damn it, I'm on the wrong day. Well, let's go back to day one. And then that's where the in practice starts to, I don't know, it, it's it's less than what you think in your head. I forget, can you can you go back to the first day at any point in, in, in Majora's Mask? You can never go back uh, to pre-Song uh, of... There's a part, like in the narrative that there's the loop. It's basically once you get into Clock Tower and then once you yeah, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you get the happy mask man the mask, that's the loop. But yes, yeah, so you can keep going back to day one whenever you want. It's Groundhog Day the video game. And and, and, then, and then you can commit tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Majora's Mask is definitely a game I enjoy thinking about more than actually playing. But on that note, did you guys know there's a Groundhog Day game sequel? <laughs> For PlayStation VR that just came out? No way. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, they made a sequel to Groundhog Day. It's an official sequel, but it's set in the PlayStation VR video game. Does it does it star Blue Murray? No, I think you're like his daughter or something, and then oh, you run fuck you off. go back to the town and you have the same thing happen to you and you're like, uh oh, I'm stuck in the VR. The best the best thing about Groundhog Day is that they deleted the reason why he's trapped in time. There originally was a deleted scene where an ex-girlfriend of, of, of Bill Murray's character puts a voodoo curse on him. <laughs> uh... And just, just that is that is a good, I mean, I'm not sure if that was a studio note or if that was Howard Ramis being like, let's remove this. But that is the smartest decision. Because if that scene would have been in that movie, that movie would be fucking terrible. Dude, the appropriation alone would have been cringy. <laughs> So you know what? You know what I, I said we talk about and we didn't? Me was fucking awesome. I love this. Look at this little, look, look at little bread boy go. Look at him go. Hey, let, let's all, let's make it be clear. She recorded an entire Wind Waker playthrough HD in SD and beat the entire game in three hearts. On hero mode. Like. Why do I keep expecting Link to crawl out of a hole and see another horrible tragedy painted out in rocks? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is also the meme effect. That, that's the, those are the memes implanted in our, uh, our essence from now on. I was hoping yeah, he quoted and he just have the words JFK <laughs> <laughs> written in stone. <laughs> I think Mewa ruined Zelda fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, though, because she's like she's amazing at games, but she doesn't really like games. 
either? And she doesn't yeah. like games, but she's a part of a Let's Play channel. I don't, or was, I don't understand. <laughs> well, it's kind of the same reason I hang around you Sonic nerds. Hmm. If one of us was a robot, she would make our heads explode because it's so illogical. Did you know? Doesn't make any sense. Did you know that Miwa hates Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, she does. She really? Says, she says, "I don't, I don't hate anything in this world, but I can say I hate Kingdom Hearts." Wow. <laughs> and she said, "I hate it so much. Like to prove a point, I beat this game on the hardest difficulty just to show everybody how baby of a game yeah. it is." Yeah. But I mean, like that's that that is kind of like a response of like I'm like hitting yourself in the face to prove someone wrong. It's like just don't play it. Yeah. You don't have, you, you don't have to play anything. Me would prove you. Hey, I'll believe you <laughs> if you just say I, I hate Kingdom Hearts. I believe you right there. You don't, you well, don't there's, do there's, else. there's also the effort there to ensure that this is a fully formed opinion based on yeah. all factors of said game. But you know, like, but it, you it's go. weird though because me were me were puts more effort into hating something than I have ever done. My son included with loving something oh. like <laughs> same oh same Chris you don't have a heart you can't love anything shut up well, yeah spoilers <laughs> don't make fun of my cyborg like that my, my cyborg, cyborg fan <laughs> that's why I'm so monotone fuck hey man don't worry we're working on that on the next update it's coming soon the next update the next update would include Super Nintendo games Thank God I can play Donkey Kong Country 3. No, you can't, though. They haven't put that on the service yet. Can we bring back the old meme where it shows the trying to put the SNES cart into the 3DS and it's like, why SNES games aren't on the 3DS <laughs> <laughs> virtual console? I feel like somebody should do that, but with the Switch now. Just update. Always update it with the next console on why we can't get every SNES game on every new Nintendo console. I don't know. It makes no sense. It's like, I know everyone said it, but I'm not sure if it's just... Well, because, you know, it's like Nintendo are possibly the best. And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure we've said this at some point in this LP, but we recorded this like a year ago. Fuck off. Uh, like Nintendo are like, are like the best in the world, one of the best in the world at, at making games. They are literally pretty much terrible at everything else. <laughs> yeah, I can get behind that. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like, as we record this, we are, what, a few weeks to a month away from the remake of Link's Awakening be being released on the Switch. And I know, I know it, it, it's, it's been remade, you know, with fancy graphics and there's that fucking weird dungeon editor thing. I don't understand how Nintendo can justify to themselves re-releasing a, a, you know, a Game Boy length game, admittedly with fancy graphics and one extra thing for sixty dollars. Have we this, seen the price? Have they said it's going to be sixty? On Amazon, on Amazon, it's sixty. Everywhere I've looked, because I looked, I looked it up, and I'm like, that, that, that's you could literally beat that game in a day. But Gareth, that's like, how I, 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 that's how I feel about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Like that game is way too short for sixty bucks. And, and what's funny is that earlier in this LP, we did talk about that how much the game might be. And it, it's like I know it's like I, I know just because it has the Zelda name on it it'll sell so Nintendo Nintendo could fucking release a game of just Link farting for 72 hours and people would fucking buy it but it's just like you would you would I, it's just like you would hope Nintendo would have a bit more respect for their fan base to nah. not just no nah, money bro you know money bro I know I know money bro when it comes a point where you're just ripping off your consumer base can I say my Nintendo shut up Chris we all live yeah in a capitalist society pokey monster <laughs> My, my Nintendo thing that bothers me, you know how we pay, or people pay, uh, you know, money per year or whatever for the online, right? And you have a friend system on a Switch? If you want to play your friend's Mario Maker 2 levels, you or play with them, or at least for their levels, you still have to put in their level code, I think. You can't just say, take me to my friend's levels and let me see what they've made. You still have mm. to hit up your friend and say, hey, what was the code for that level you made three weeks ago? And then wait on them to get back to you with the code. They, they've always it's had so an issue with that. Remember back when Smash was a nightmare to, like, have any match with your friends? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's like Nintendo might be the worst company for online. <laughs> it's like, all, all of their consoles are just, I mean, like, again, as, as Mexi said, the, the horrors of trying to play Brawl online will haunt me to my dying day. Like, that, like, I mean, even the Wii U wasn't much better. Like, the, you know, it's the fact that it's taken them this long for Super Nintendo games, the fact that the eShop is, is a Baron. mess to go through. It's, it's, 
that's the thing. Like Ninten Nintendo could have the best online, but they don't because they don't care and they're stupid. You can fit the entire SNES library on a fucking jump drive and put it on any fucking computer. Nintendo can create the ultimate all-in-one thing, but that doesn't make the buckaroonies. No. Well, Nintendo can't even release a fucking console in this day and age with, with, a, with a hard drive better than 32 gigs. <laughs> My phone has more than <laughs> I know, right? They can't even re they can't even re release an accessory with more than five available things to buy. Fucking! This is what we get when we let card companies make our video games. It, it, it was right there at the beginning. Hold on. You know what? Go back to back back to Hanafuna, y'all. All right. It's about we're going back to playing Koi Koi. Did you guys catch the thing they announced a few hours ago that wasn't in the direct yesterday? That fucking um, hula hoop. The Switch Fit app or whatever it's gonna be called. Uh, no, it's literally a hula hoop. There's like a video of people pulling and stretching on it, and Nintendo's like, get ready for the new way to play. And there's a guy like lifting it over his head, like, oh. It's spherical. I'm sorry, but I'm still ready for Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> it's spherical. Same. Yes, the, the game where Nintendo w fucking watches you while you sleep and steals your data. I'm excited to buy the um, Pokemon Plus Plus to replace my right. Pokemon oh Plus my accessory God. for Pokemon Go and Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Plus Home. Plus. <laughs> This is why I exchange gifts with this man, people. This is why. <laughs> I've been a little behind on my Pogo this week. I, w I, would, I would have put it past Nintendo to release, like, Let's Go Pokemon, like, Pikachu and Eevee again. It's the exact same game, but everything's backwards and everyone wears green. That sounds okay, I'll buy that, yeah. Y'all yeah, are gonna buy it, of course you are. It's like, it's like it, it includes move tutors, sold, done. Like, yeah. Of course. This is the company that put New Super Mario Bros. U out again on the Switch and was like, yeah, $60 is a good price for this, even though we didn't really add anything. But it comes with Luigi U. This is the company that re-released Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and charged more for it than its original release. <laughs> with with new funky mode! Yeah, don't talk shit about funky mode, Garrett. <laughs> Can we talk about funky Twitter? That meme was funny, but I don't know if, I don't know if just that meme justifies the extra $10. How are you on the internet? Every meme justifies its <laughs> tens of millions of dollars. The thing is, though, the thing is, though, the the 26 people who actually watch this part, at least three of them are going to be hardcore Nintendo nerds who will just eat any type of shit they crap out. So I expect some, I expect some negative comments when you guys are idiots. Nintendo can't do any wrong. That's why they're watching a Let's Play of a Nintendo game on a channel that's based on a Sonic meme. Who else is gonna watch it? <laughs> Who else, Gareth? God. Speaking of Sonic, we need to spit out some more Sonic videos. Like, we are losing views. <laughs> <laughs> we need Chris to get off his ass and do the thing so we can do the thing with the thing. No, I'll just take another year to do it. It's fine. Don't worry. About he, it. He, he's, okay, he's, 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 too he's too busy making Sonic videos on his own channel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, actually, I see how it is. You use FT Show for a few years to get like four subscribers, and then you fucking leave us. I see how it goes. Yeah, four is all I need, buddy. That's as high as I can count. <laughs> Accurate. Honestly, Chris, take your time. Took me years to get zombies out, and that was only like four parts, and they still left me in the group still. Mm, yeah, yeah, speaking of, you you get off your ass and you call Sonic Battle, young man. Yeah, eventually. No, now. <laughs> Let's just re-upload the, uh, the Sonic-a-thon. Right? I'm kind of recording Let's Plays, Dad. I can't pause it. It's online. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you was the only one that laughed and he laughed in that fashion, you're such a fucking dad. <laughs> Do you think anyone would notice if we... Uh, I think what Stephen was going to say... You think anyone would know that if we just re-uploaded a very old LP, gave it a new title and thumbnail? You I would. Think anyone would notice? I don't think so. It's Sonic 06 again. Jump in formation. Jump in formation. Oh yeah, let's bring that classic back. Wait, we have a best of Sonic 06. Can we make a worst of Sonic 06? It's just, it's just everything that wasn't in the best of video. Yeah, it's much. just every time you catch audio of one of us breathing in. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm gonna be in that one a lot. <laughs> the rest of the LP, that's great. No, no, we 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 just have to we just have we just need a uh, best of Miwa. There we go. That will give us a billion views. It's, it's that's our magnum opus at some point. Like, 
That, that's the swan song of FTCR. We can sail off this channel into the deep blue sea and launch a fire arrow at it. At the ocean? Have Ave Maria play in the background. It'll be, it'll be fucking gorgeous. No, Steven, like those fucking uh, funerals where they send a dude off in a boat and they're like, okay, we're going to shoot this dead body with fire. That'll look cool. Lord of the Lord of the Rings. No joke. I actually thought more people, more kids will connect with Photo. Uh, I actually have an idea for what if we ever close the channel, what the last video would be. And part mm -hmm. of me, part of me wants just to close the channel just so we could make it. I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> well, we can Redux. <laughs> we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> you can't get rid of us, guys. We're like internet herpes. Are you gonna tell us what it is? No, because it'll ruin the surprise when it happens. Mm. <sighs> She got a triangle. Oh, <laughs> I love this Zelda one reference. Look, like the Triforce is right there in your inventory. All the power. Weren't you reassembling the Triforce of Wisdom in the first game? Um. So yes, because there's only two Triforces in the first game. It just refers to each piece, and then Legend of Zelda two introduces the third piece to the Triforce. Because. Back, back when he made the first game, me and Melto couldn't count. Right, well, he actually he actually thought the Triforce should be microchips. Link was meant to be an actual link between the future and the past. Like, you had all of the, you know, old Tokian mythology, you know, the, the high fantasy stuff. It was all meant to tie into the Triforce's sci-fi aspect of having microchips in their past. It's the weirdest shit that just got dropped like the hot mistake it was. So would the original so would the original have been called the Biforce? Basically, yeah. Well, then even now with the Triforce, everyone likes to argue oh, the mysterious fourth piece. And it's like just go back to your home, oh, right? Right. The shadow piece. And now Bread Boy's like, oh shit, there's a triangle in my hand. Get it off. And then you have the and then you find out that Low Rule has their own Triforce. Had had. And now now there's lots of Triforces. It's just a I figure it's just an infinity th type thing. You get a Triforce, you get a Triforce, everyone gets a Triforce. Everyone gets, is, it, is, it, is it an anti-Triforce in low rule? Well, for every Triforce, there has to be an equal amount of anti-Triforce to balance it out. That's how physics works. Anti-Triforce, it's just force. Yeah, it's just the one in the middle. <laughs> it's, it's the empty triangle in the middle. Th that would be the quad force. <laughs> I know, but that's a stupid fucking theory, and honestly, anti-force is way better. We're at the whitewashing. Oh, Tetra. I forgot you were in this game. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, she died. <laughs> she <Credits. shows. laughs> I like how, because of, because of the editing, after she disappears, for a split second, Link is smiling. Like, yeah, thank God for that. Bring Tetra back, she's way better. They don't have too many faces for Bread Boy. All right, he's very limited in his expressions. He has plenty of it, but you know, there's just no intermediate between it, all his expressions. Who are these doughboys? Doughboys. <laughs> Dark nuts. <laughs> yeah. And two of them. <laughs> two dark nuts. <laughs> oh, he just hit that other dude. That's a little rude. Well, see, that's why you have one dark nut hang lower than the other, so they don't knock each other all the time while you walk. <laughs> <laughs> But if if but if both haven't descended by the time you're in kindergarten, that can be a medical issue. I guess we're all enthralled with this footage right now. <laughs> this is the best room in the game, honestly, because you have all of the stained glass lore paintings, and it's really great because they have the symbols. All the sages are doing their cool like JoJo yeah. poses that they were doing at the end of the OT. <laughs> Is that a fucking JoJo reference? <laughs> Not really, it's actually a Sentai reference, because they were totally transforming. It's a hentai reference? Okay. I like where this is going. <laughs> I'm watching because I see how good Miwa's gameplay is. It's like, she still hasn't gotten hit yet. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Hmm. I wish I was good at video games. So do I. I wish you were good as well. What would you do? You're, you're good at loving video games, alright? We all have different talents. Mi Miwa is too good at too many things, it's not fair. That's why she had to leave the internet, she made the rest of us look bad. <laughs> she had way better shit to do than spend her fucking Friday nights talking about games. When we don't, that's quite sad, actually. It's only Thursday and I'm already drunk. 
The five of us are actual complete losers in life. Please subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe FTA plugged his Patreon after making fun of himself. He's clearly guilting his viewers into giving him money. So Is that, is that a thing? Okay. Sure. <laughs> my, um, okay, okay, I'll try again. <clears throat> my, my life is bad. Give me money to make it good. <laughs> Guys, when we hit $20,000 a month, we'll make the FTCR movie. Promise. Oh my the script God. is done. Could you imagine what a fucking FTCR movie would be today? <laughs> right here. Who would watch it? Right now. I'm not sure even I would watch it on I want it. I want it to be just, just like a documentary about all of us taking LSD for the first time. There's no plot. <laughs> We just we just we just go into some woods, take LSD and fumo for six hours. Yes. That's the FTC. I'm so movie. down for this. <laughs> so give us, someone give us twenty grand, so we can get some drugs and go into a woods. <laughs> FTA and smoothies go to White Castle. <laughs> no, it's just like Zach and Mary make a porno. I might have to ask my parents for permission. I don't know about this one, guys. Chris, it's okay. I already have the permission slips printed out. I'm prepared. Oh, thank God you forged the signature. Oh, so For yeah, Barry Skip. Twenty K. We'll make that. I have to. I have to have a moment here. All right, Barry Skip is the holy grail of basically the entire Wind Waker speedrunning scene. But now it's comically funny how easy it is to go past the barrier, both in the HD version and the original version of Wind Waker. Uh, they found the HD version first, so that's actually what brought. Uh, the HD version speedruns down to like under an hour. It's crazy. Uh, that one involves just the fact that you can do item sliding, which is where you go first person and it fucks with Link's de uh, detection and his collision and you just bypass the barrier and you fuck it all. And you just go straight to Pup again. The original version found a fucking heavy duty glitch where it involves putting Link in like a semi state where he's like half invulnerable, half tangible but basically Sorry. you can shoot a shit ton of arrows that stay loaded and it l overloads the game to where it doesn't load the barrier and you just walk past the barrier and sorry i had to get all that out because i know we we're gonna just talk about stupid shit later and i'm not gonna remember later so there you go barrier skip bam <laughs> you said load <laughs> that's not, oh they're bats i've never um played ocarina of time too much is this area in Ocarina of Time, or is this just for Sort of. Actually, this is referenced, yeah, from... Well, well, I mean, it's closer related to, like, a Twilight Princess location, because it's way closer to, like, to the, the Elden Bridges there, but Zelda always does this thing where they're in the right location spot, and they have the same features, but they're not the exact same. Yeah, they always change it up a bit. You don't want to rediscover the same world every single time. Join us next time, bye! It's a whole new world we live Shut in. Shut up, Stefan! <laughs>